Sophie, thank you so much for being on time. Hi, this is my resume. Great, come and have a seat. So Sophie, I see here on your objective that you're looking to um, get political experience working for the office of uh, Senator Leland Yee, is that right? Yeah, um, I want to become a lobbyist, so I thought that politics and um, law are really similar, so I just thought, you know, just try to get some experience in the real world before I go to colleges and stuff. And you realize that this is an internship, it's an unpaid position. Yes, I realize that. Great. All right. Well, I'm looking at your resume. Can you tell me a little bit about what you think your greatest academic skills are and how they represent themselves here and some of the activities that you've had? Um, I work well with others, so I try to do, like, I do a bunch of sports and I try to, you know, incorporate myself with other people so that I can, you know, do better in those kind of skills. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you elaborate on that? Like when you say you work well with others, what have you done in your background that, that from your resume that kind of shares that experience? Um, I've done drama. I did uh, drama one two and advanced drama, and so I can act my way through. Like if I get in trouble with somebody, I can try that. Um, I have done sports. I'm on the volleyball team and the track team, so I have to learn how to work well. Okay. So going back to your people skills, this mm -hmm. job does require good people skills. Um, what would be three adjectives for you to describe yourself in, in terms of people skills? Um, I'm very sociable, um, I'm upbeat, and friendly. Great, wonderful. Those are great. Um, in terms of your strengths and weaknesses, we've talked a little bit about what your strengths are. If you had to say, what would you say are your weaknesses? My weaknesses. Um, hmm. Well, sometimes uh, I do slack off a little, but uh, I usually kind of procrastinate as most people do. And if I do, I always make it up. I always, it might not be like, if like say I do a lot of late homework, I always end up making it up by the time that the final, like the final thing is being made. So I don't get the on time points, but I do end up doing well in the end. Okay, so what steps are you taking then to correct that? So um, I'm trying to keep a planner so that way I can record my homework and so that I can finish it all and do it on time. And if I do have light work, I try not to let it go too far. I try to turn in the next day or the next class just to try to keep it all up. Okay, great. But that's actually a very good answer. Um, in terms of um, your academic background, what, what is your current GPA? Um, my current GPA is a 3.64. All right, good. And have you taken the PSAT? Um, I did, and okay. um, I can't remember my specific scores, but I remember that um, I did pretty well in all of it, and my English was a little bit higher than my math, but it was all together pretty good. So what are the areas for improvement, would you say? Um, definitely math. I need to improve that to like bring it up to par, but everything else, I could, you could always improve on it. Okay, and again, in terms of improving your, your math capabilities, what steps, if any, are you taking to um, help? I'm trying that? to do all my math homework every day. That way, I, you know, keep up. And if I have questions, then I ask them right then instead of just waiting and trying to, you know, stay on top of it. Okay, all right. Have you considered what college you might be wanting to go to after school? Um, I have. I, I'm thinking CSM because it's close. Um, also and, and CSM is the... Oh, College of Shame Town. Okay. Yeah, just, you know, to Community save... Community college? Yeah, just to save money and live at home. And then after that, what are your aspirations? Um, I want to be a, a lobbyist. So, so you're going to transfer to a four-year college? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And is that going to be a college that you're going to want to go to nearby, or, or did you um, want to go out of state? Maybe. I, it's all up in the air. And, you know, trying to look, trying to keep it open, just trying to look at everything. Okay. Now, if I were to call some of the people that on your resume you've worked with, mm -hmm. um, what do you think they would tell me about you? Um, I'm a hard worker and that I'm really, you know, friendly and nice and I'm good, I'm fun to work with. Okay. One of the things that's really important for us here is to make sure that, that everybody is in fact on time mm -hmm. because if somebody leaves and the other person is late, the phones don't get answered. Mm -hmm. Is this something we can count on you for? Oh yes. Yes, I will try to be on time and even early. Is tardiness something that you have a problem with? Um, a little bit, but I'm working on it. All right, well, thank you for that. Um, which accomplishments out of all the things that you've done would you say that you're the most proud of? 
definitely the most proud of I got an A in psychology, which is actually a college level class that they offer here at Hillsdale. They have a Skyline teacher who comes down from Skyline um, every fr uh, Monday and Friday, and he teaches the same exact class that he does over at Skyline at Hillsdale, and I got an A in that class. Okay, so is psychology something you see yourself oh, yeah. being especially good at that you can maybe apply to? Mm -hmm. uh, a job down the road? Yeah, I want to try to um, study psychology, and since psychology is kind of applicable everywhere, I feel like it would just help me. So, now you talk a little bit about psychology and you talk about wanting to be a lobbyist. Where do you see yourself in about 10 years' time? Um, 10 years, hopefully, I am a professional lobbyist and I'm, you know, really good at what I do. And I think they're all in Washington, D.C., so I'm probably going to live there. So, you would actually move to the East oh, yeah. Coast? Okay, well, it would certainly be good for you to have this experience on your resume. On a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you in your readiness for the next step into the post-high school life, working and going to college? Um, I feel like I'm an 8 because I feel pretty confident, but then again, you know, I don't, won't know anybody, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. And I feel like, I, I just feel that I'm ready, but mm -hmm. I can always, you know, improve. Okay. And um, uh, if, if I were to offer you this position, is this something that you'd be ready to take? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I can do it. So I think you've answered all of my questions. Do you have any questions for me? Um, I do. So uh, when would I work, or is that kind of up in the air? Do you mean when do you start? Yeah. Or when, when, when your you hours would yeah, be? Yeah, the both. Well, we're looking at uh, some more interviews that we've got to conduct. So over the next couple of weeks, we'll be making up our mind about who we want to hire. Okay. And in terms of hours, we would want somebody to come in on two days after school for about three hours. Okay. Um, so we would work around your schedule. Okay, that sounds Does great. Does that work? Yeah. Do you have any other questions for me? Uh, no, I don't think. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right, thank you.